Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is the day today that the Lord has made. Let you and I rejoice and be glad in it. Pastor Joshua here at Grace United Church. We're reading through the scriptures together and it, the verse of the day is 1 Kings chapter 20, verse 23, which says this, after their defeat, Ben-Hadad's officers said to him, the Israelite gods are the gods of the hills. That is why they won. But we can beat them easily on the plains. This is the word of the Lord, right? And you're like, what, how does that work for us? What I want to talk about is simply this, where God has authority. You see, what had happened was, is Israel beat their enemy. And their enemy believed that Israel beat them because their God, the only God, was the God of the hills, but not the God of the plains. So their strategy was if we can get them down to the plains, we can beat them because their God has no authority down here. And that was their downfall because God is the God of everywhere. Think of this, the rich young ruler, right? Uh, uh, something that happened in the New Testament with Jesus. Rich guy comes to Jesus, says, I want to start following you. And Jesus, knowing what was inside of him, said, I need you to sell everything that you have, give it to the poor, and then come follow me. Well, the rich young ruler walked away because he was giving Jesus authority over his spiritual life but not over his physical life, not over his finances. And that led to his downfall because he walked away from salvation. So just like uh, Israel's enemies thought that God had authority in one area and not the other, and that led to their downfall, just like the rich young ruler came to Jesus and thought he had authority in one area and not the other, and that led to his downfall, you and I, the question is, where do we believe that God does not have practical authority in our life. Because we're all going to say, of course, he has authority over everything. Of course he does, right? But do we live that way? And the answer is no. We, we're all inconsistent. So the question is not, do you, in your mind, restrict God's authority from some areas of your life? But the question is this, which areas of your life? Are you saying, God, you have authority over there, but I'm not going to let you have authority over here? Because here's the truth. The places that you do not let God have authority is going to be a part of your downfall. It's going to be a part where you suffer and the people around you say, I'm not saying it's going to cost you your salvation, but it will cause, sin always causes suffering in your life and the, and the, and the life of those around you. So where in our lives are we in our minds restricting God's authority and thus becoming a thorn in our flesh? Let's take this truth and turn it back into a prayer. Father, we thank you that you have authority over everyone, everywhere. We thank you that there is not an atom, a minute, a thought that you do not have complete control and authority over. We thank you because we know not only is that true, but we know that you are for us and not against us. And that everything that goes through your hand, which is everything, will benefit those who follow you. So, Father, we trust you, we love you, and it's in the name of your son, Jesus, that all of God's people said, amen. Hey, God bless you and God keep you. That's our prayer. See you guys tomorrow.